d2 d4 d7 d5 c2 c4 c7 c6 knight b1 c3 knight g8 f6 c4 captures d5 this game was played on board 1 in the Olympiad between the two favorites and later joint winners, with Armenia taking gold on tie breaks. Kramnik seems to think that a 2-2 result would not be a disaster and that Russia are favorites on the last three boards. In reality the 2-2 was only achieved by Kramnik's win in this game, but the players had no way of knowing that at this point. C6 captures D5. Bishop c1 f4 Knight b8 c6 e2 e3 a7 a6 Bishop f1 d3 g7 g6 A bit too creative for my taste. The bishop is just not well placed on g7 in this system, where it can only come alive if black plays, e5 later on. The plus side is of course that this move prepares the exchange of the light squared bishops. 7, bg4 is the main line with a sound score here. I do not follow the theory, but nor do I think that Kramnik had anything seriously venomous ready here. h2 h3. Kramnik clearly wants to put the knight on f3 without allowing, bg4. Bishop c8 f5 Bishop captures f5. g6 takes on f5. Knight g1 f3. Rook h8 g8. And leave the king in the center? This is the only reason I can find for taking on d3 next move, barring indecision. I am not sure if this would be fully sound, but in any case I already prefer white ever so slightly. Knight g1 f3 Bishop f8 g7 Bishop d3 captures f5. g6 captures f5. Would not give black control of the g-file immediately, but, 0-0, kh8 and, rg8 could be considered. However, I am not sure Kramnik would have taken on f5. Bishop f5 captures d3. Queen d1 captures d3. Bishop f8 g7. Castling king side. Castling king side. Rook f1 c1. e7 e6. It is fair to say that the opening is over. The minor pieces are out and the kings are safe. A long term strategy for the middle game should be devised. To be able to do so successfully, we need to consider the weaknesses in the position. Despite some artificial debate relating to the e4 and e5 squares, it is my opinion that the real weaknesses are a6, b7, c7, c5 and b2, while c4 and b6 may be weaknesses later on. 
The reason C7 is weak and not C2 is obvious, the BF4 and White's slight lead in development. Also, the C5 square is weaker than C4 simply because Holti can get there faster. The B2 pawn is undefended, but it is not easy for Black to deliver a serious attack on it at the moment. The B6 square is slightly weakened by the advance of the A pawn, but it is not high on our current list of priorities, even if it does come into play in some variations. White's plan is to aim at the B7 and C7 weaknesses by moving his pieces in that direction. Knight c3 a4 Knight f6 e4 Knight a4 c5 Knight e4 captures c5 Rook c1 captures c5 White might not have an advantage, but his position is visibly more active. He arrives first to the c file and his minor pieces are well placed. At the moment the only real weakness in the black position is the c7 square, but there is also the b7 a6 constellation, which is terribly difficult for black to deal with. Queen d8 b6 would threaten the trick, e5. But white has queen d3 c2. Queen d8 d7. Black is preparing to fight for the c file. Rook a1 c1 Rook f8 c8 The first phase of the mobilization has ended. Now white needs to pay attention to the idea of bf8 followed by nb4 a2 a3 Bishop g7 f8 Rook c5 c2 Bishop f8 d6 was an alternative. In this case we see that the b6 square is a weakness, and black is under a bit of pressure after. Bishop f4 captures d6. Queen d7 captures d6. Queen d3 b3. Rook a8 b8. Queen b3 b6. Can black hold after? QC7 or QD8, you might ask? I would think so, but the pressure would continue. White has ideas like NF3 E5 D3, waiting for the right moment to jump to C5. Black is never fully forgiven for playing, a 6 early on. F7 F6 in the press conference right after the game, Kramnik said that maybe this move was partly to blame for Black's downfall. I think this is too harsh. Certainly this move, intended to reinforce the e5 square, weakens the pawn on e6, adding some responsibilities for Black. However, the benefits are worth it. These extra responsibilities need to be dealt with rapidly and with accuracy, and it seems that Black did not find the right way to do so in the game. This is always the case with positions that are under a bit of pressure. You need to play accurately at some moments, and if you don't, 
your position can rapidly become worse and worse. Knight f3 d2 The right way was to play for the C file immediately, like a boxer attacking with his head first. Knight C6 A7. If black has time to play, Rx C2, he will be fine. So the only danger is. Rook C2 C7. Queen D7 E8. But white has no strong follow up. Black will play, NB5 on almost anything with or without taking on c7 first. For example, knight d2 b3. Knight a7 b5. Rook c7 c2. Rook c8 captures c2. Queen d3 captures c2. Knight b5 d6. And black has managed to coordinate his pieces and defend his weaknesses successfully. Bishop f8 d6. This move works poorly in combination with f6. Black's positional problems required a more radical solution, which he might not have felt entirely happy with during the game, or dare I suggest, he may not even have seen. Bishop f4 captures d6. Queen d7 takes on d6. Knight d2 b3. We can see how the exchange of the dark squared bishops has increased the weakness of the dark squares in Black's position. Black has to do something about this quickly. It is understandable that Aranian did not want to play. B7 B6 when you look at the way it weakens the a6 pawn, and in the case of a later, a5, the b5 square. However, the prospect of the white knight coming in to pressurize the a6-b7-c6 constellation should have spooked him. White is still better of course, but the advantage is long term and only small. White can play something like. Knight b3 d2. And then try to create further weaknesses elsewhere on the board. Rook c8 c7. Quite a natural move, which would have been successful had white not had a tactical way to punish it. Knight b3 a5. Rook a8 c8. This is probably a bit naive of black. He may have been expecting white to take a zillion times on c6 and then shake hands on move 30. We have reached a typical moment in chess strategy. White has mobilized all of his forces. It is time to look for a revolution, a violent change of the status quo, as he is perfectly placed for it. If it does not exist, he will have to maneuver and try to outplay his opponent slowly. But if it exists, 
it is most likely to exist right here, right now. Queen d6 d7 was necessary, but after something like Rook c2 c5 Rook a8 c8 Queen d3 c3 White's advantage is serious Rook a8 c8 this is probably a bit naive of black. He may have been expecting white to take a zillion times on c6 and then shake hands on move 30. We have reached a typical moment in chess strategy. White has mobilized all of his forces. It is time to look for a revolution, a violent change of the status quo, as he is perfectly placed for it. If it does not exist, he will have to maneuver and try to outplay his opponent slowly. But if it exists, it is most likely to exist right here, right now. Knight a5 captures b7. Rook c7 captures b7. Queen d3 captures a6. Rook b7 c7. b2 b4. Black is tied up completely. Queen d6 d7. Accurate, although white should also win after. B4 B5. Knight C6 E7. Knight C6 E7. Rook C2 captures C7. Rook C8 captures C7. Rook C1 takes on C7. Queen D7 captures C7. Queen A6 captures E6. King g8 g7. a3 a4. With best play. This line indicates that Aranian failed to see the knight sacrifice completely, and thus was expecting the game to end in a draw, as he would never have allowed this line either, had he seen it. And there is no subtlety to miss in this line at all. Queen a6 b6 Queen d7 d6 is best met with rook c2 c3 followed by b4 b5 King g8 f7 is objectively best according to my PC, but black will not hold a draw after b4 b5 Rook c7 b7 Queen b6 captures c6 Queen d7 captures c6 Rook c2 captures c6 Rook c8 captures c6. B4 
b5 captures c6. White will break through on the king side while pushing the two pawns forward on the queen side to distract his opponent. Still, black could have tried this, with the idea of, kf7 e7 d8 and then, ra7, but it should never ever work. Queen d7 e8. Black is just lost. b4 b5. Forcing a win. Knight c6 takes on d4. Rook c2 takes on c7. Knight d4 e2. King g1 h1. Knight e2 captures c1. Rook c7 captures c8. Queen e8 captures c8. Queen b6 c6. Queen c8 d8. b5 b6. King g8 f7. Queen c6 c7. King f7 e8. Queen c7 a7. d5 d4. b6 b7.